When predators are on the hunt, they don't have time to waste. So when they spot potential prey, Yuck. they go all out and attack with reckless abandon. It's not always pleasant to watch, but it's how nature rolls. If you want to witness some amazing predators doing what they do best, Sit tight because we're getting started. Number 15, Coyote Hunt Rabbit. The coyote in this video appears to be giving the rabbit a chance to flee, but the second the rabbit decides to run, the coyote chases and kills it. Some people believe that urban coyotes eat mostly garbage and pets. Coyotes are predators, but they are also opportunistic feeders, shifting their diets to take advantage of the most abundant prey. Coyotes are primarily scavengers and predators of small prey, but they can occasionally switch to large prey. On a leisurely drive through Portland, a couple spotted two coyotes. One of the coyotes stood guard while the other ate his meal. When a car approached, the coyote took the rabbit in his mouth and moved forward. Meanwhile, the other coyote established his territory. This coyote appears to have found an easy meal and is almost swallowing it whole as it chews on a dead rabbit before gulping it down. A coyote shows us how to catch a rabbit on this night camera. He sniffs, pauses, looks around, and repeats the process until he finds the fluffy bunny. It's time for dinner once he's finished. Coyotes are diurnal by nature, but their sleeping pattern or circadian rhythm is affected by their environment and location. Coyotes near human settlements are nocturnal. This activity pattern is useful for avoiding human contact during the day and hunting for food at night. Number 14, raccoon and raccoon dog eat snake. Tiger keelback snakes have a venom gland at the back of their neck and the young raccoon dogs attack the snake without knowing this. The snake's venom is painful, but the snake uses another tactic when threatened and pretends that he's dead. This snake eats toads and accumulates venom this way. It's not deadly to the dog raccoons though, it just hurts, so they still get to eat their lunch. It looks like a raccoon found a snake in the foliage and killed it. It could be seen eating the reptile, which has been chopped up into little pieces. Raccoons are eaten by venomous snakes such as copperheads and rattlesnakes. Raccoons, in turn, just like you saw in this video, are snake predators of a wide variety of snake species and will eat them if given the chance. While it is uncommon for a raccoon to consume a snake, they do so when the opportunity arises. A raccoon finds a snake on the road and begins to bite it, under the watchful eyes of a friend approaching. His friend joins him, but the other raccoon doesn't want to share the snake with him, so he picks up the dead snake and walks away. Raccoons prefer to congregate in groups to protect themselves from the elements, hunt together, and share food. Traveling and hunting in groups also protects them from other predators who are also cold, hungry, and desperate. I guess this raccoon was a non-conformist. Number 13, Komodo attacks monkey. Monkeys don't have much of a chance against Komodo dragons once they have been caught. This monkey's face is being rubbed into the ground as it is swallowed by the mighty dragon. I'm not sure which is worse for the monkey, its face being rubbed or being swallowed whole. Komodo dragons rarely eat monkeys because they are much faster than the dragons, but occasionally, when monkeys are not paying attention, while they are playing with their friends, with dragons nearby, they can easily be snatched the exact way this monkey was grabbed and is now being shared by several hungry dragons. I don't know what's worse, being swallowed alive by one Komodo dragon or torn to shreds by three famished reptiles. I think I would prefer being swallowed whole. It must be slightly less painful. This monkey tries to escape from a dragon by jumping on a fence, but the dragon grabs its leg and pulls it down and it's all over for the little one. All the other Komodos join in on the feast. The poor monkey is dismembered alive by the fearsome reptiles. Number 12, wolves attack sheep. These wolves show no remorse when they ambush a bunch of sheep in their enclosure. The wolves are hungry, and when hunger hits, they break all the rules. The sheep are afraid and they bleat for help as loudly as they can, but no one comes. The wolves kill a few sheep and eat their prey. Jumping into a pen full of unguarded sheep is like going to Costco and discovering that New York steaks are free. 
Surplus killing occurs when wolves come across particularly vulnerable prey and take advantage of the situation. Wolves jumping into a pen full of otherwise unprotected sheep is an excellent example of when and how this would happen. A lone wolf sneaks up on a sheep in the dead of night, but the sheep is quite big and resists when the wolf tries pulling it away into the brush. I think the wolf will eventually get his prize, but he will have to work hard for it. Wolves are considered pests in many parts of the world because they do exactly what this wolf is doing in this video, which is attack livestock. This wolf is on a killing spree and kills the sheep without even eating them. Aren't these people supposed to have sheepdogs to scare off the wolves and warn their handlers? Wild ungulates such as elk have evolved alongside the animals that prey on them and develop survival behaviors. To coexist with wolves, deer and pronghorn became faster, nimbler, and more aware of their surroundings. Larger herbivores such as bison use a different strategy. They form a circle and display their horns to the wolves. Wolves must take enormous risks to succeed in a hunt against bison. Domestic sheep and cattle, unlike wild animals, usually panic and flee. That is precisely what wolves want their prey to do. In fact, we've seen sheep wrecks where sheep, alarmed by the presence of predators, stampede into an obstruction like a downhill drainage and literally stack up on top of each other, suffocating and or injuring many animals. Number 11, Fox Hunt Squirrel. This squirrel is fast, but the fox is faster, and after a few seconds, he grabs the squirrel and the game is over. Because squirrels can run fast, make quick turns, and climb trees, the fox must be extremely fast to accomplish this. Foxes consume both plant matter and meat. They can catch a variety of prey thanks to their quick, smooth, quiet, and patient hunting skills. Berries, fruits, and grasses make up a fox's diet. They also hunt for small animals like mice, squirrels, and rabbits, as well as invertebrates like crickets, caterpillars, grasshoppers, and crayfish. They consume approximately one to two pounds of food per day. This sneaky fox flanked a squirrel and demolished it instantly. Honestly, I don't think the squirrel saw anything coming. The fox struck clean and fast, and it was the end of the little rodent. This fox has a squirrel in its grasp, and the squirrel is attempting to free itself, but the fox is choking it. At this point, I'd be surprised if the squirrel managed to flee, but the fox isn't satisfied with just one kill. He wants more. Number 10, bear attacks deer. It's a known fact that bears are deadly hunters and they will either kill their prey before eating it or just eat it on the fly, the way the bear seems to be doing in our thumbnail in front of her little cubby, teaching the little fellow the ropes. You'll see how swift bears are in our next video. Deer move quickly, but watch as this massive bear chases down and catches up to a deer. The bear is enormous and it's sprinting faster than the deer as it catches up to it with her cute cub right behind. After killing a fawn, a bear can be seen dragging its kill up a hill, demonstrating the brute strength of the powerful predator. Unlike big cats, which pierce the windpipe to suffocate their prey, or wolves, which slash the jugular to make their prey bleed out, bears simply hold down and feed. The prey may occasionally get lucky with a swipe that breaks the spine, but they are usually eaten alive. A bear that had been getting into the garbage in this neighborhood was seen by the person filming after it had killed a deer fawn. The person didn't know what was happening until he heard it. He had been following the bear for about a quarter of a mile or so until he realized what had happened. This bear is enormous and it's sprinting at least as quickly as the deer. Bears, it was always said, are the most difficult animals to flee from. They can sprint and swim faster than we can, and they can climb trees better and quicker than we can. But during this chase, the deer was served on a silver platter to the bear after the animal crashed into a fallen tree log and tripped. Number nine, monitor lizard hunts cat. This goanna is getting back at this feral cat after the feline killed so many other animals in the neighborhood. I guess karma really is a bitch. I wonder how many birds, lizards, and native animals this feral cat killed before the big guy got a hold of him. These things happen only in Australia. This huge lizard grabs a small cat and transforms it into chopped liver. You can see the lizard swallow the cat whole. It's funny how most Westerners can watch a monkey or another animal being swallowed whole without a problem, but when it's a cat or a dog, it's traumatizing. Even though it looks like these two are having a blast, fighting in a puddle of mud, it's not the case as the lizard grabs and kills the cat for lunch. 
Cats are great hunters and can kill small lizards, but the lizards in these videos are monsters. Komodo dragons kill anything in their path, so this poor cat quickly turns into a meal for the famished dragon as the reptile swallows the kitty cat whole. Number 8. Wild Dogs Hunt Hare Because rabbits are so small, they aren't the best prey for wild dogs, and feeding a pack of wild dogs takes a lot more than a small rabbit. For the time being, however, the dogs will take whatever they can. One lucky dog grabs the rabbit and refuses to share it with the others, so the other dogs all chase him down to get a piece of the rabbit. Because rabbits are so little, they're not the most filling meals for wild dogs, and feeding a pack of wild dogs requires a lot more than a small rabbit. However, for the time being, the dogs will accept anything they can obtain. This poor rabbit isn't much of a meal for this pack of wild dogs, but they're going to eat it anyway. Food is food in the bush, and this could be an appetizer, or they could have already eaten, and this is dessert. In any case, the rabbit is cooked, fried, or roasted. These dogs rip it three ways, each getting a small portion for himself. Number 7. American Badger Hunts Prairie Dog An overweight badger is seen chasing a prairie dog, and if the prairie dog keeps running this way, the badger is probably going to have a heart attack. Ah, just in time, the badger makes the kill before getting a stroke. These badgers are so fat, I could have sworn this badger was on a hot dog diet instead of a prairie dog. A sneaky badger mom spots a prairie dog and goes for the kill. The badger can be seen retrieving the dead animal from the ground and carrying it in its mouth. Watch this badger hunt and catch a prairie dog for lunch. Nature can sometimes be harsh, but every animal has their own way of surviving. Sometimes the hunt isn't successful, but these animals must continue to hunt if they want to survive. Number 6. Bobcat Hunts Salmon This bobcat catches a fish that's almost bigger than him. The fish struggles to free itself, but the bobcat bites hard into it. What a huge salmon this cat has caught. I'm sure it will fill his tummy for a few days. This bobcat went fishing at the Salmon Cascades in the state of Washington and was able to make a great catch right in time for dinner. Bobcats primarily consume rabbits and hares. They may also consume rodents like squirrels and mice, as well as hunt small deer, snakes, reptiles, and domestic animals including dogs, cats, sheep, goats, and poultry, and as this video proves, they also go fishing for salmon. They can also leap high enough to catch low-flying birds. Another bobcat goes fishing in this video and makes a great catch. The cat grabs the salmon and pulls it out of the water in a jiffy. Once that's accomplished, it's just a matter of time before the fish dies and the cat eats it. Number 5. Jackal Hunts Gazelle The gazelle in this video is quite big, but it seems like it can't fight off these two jackals. Perhaps it was already injured before the jackals attacked it, but a gazelle this size should be able to charge into the small scavengers and at least give them a fight. These two jackals hunt a young Thompson's gazelle, and I'm kind of surprised the gazelle doesn't fight more. She kind of falls to the ground while the jackals tear flesh from her body. The scavengers begin by trying to rip out the gazelles behind. Most scavengers like hyenas and even wild dogs use this approach. I guess it's the easiest part to carve into because there's already a hole. These two jackals are trying to take down a sick gazelle in this video, and with a lot of hard work and perseverance, they managed to take the animal down. Mind you, the animal didn't have to be sick to be taken down because jackals are quite capable of taking down a healthy animal. It doesn't take long for the vultures to arrive and wait for their share. Even though jackals are not big, they often take down larger animals than themselves, as you can see these three jackals feasting on this large gazelle. The hunt is over, but they had to take the animal down first, unless they found the animal already dead and abandoned, which could very well be the case. Number 4. Cheetah Attacks Wildebeest Killing a wildebeest is a difficult task for this cheetah coalition because adult wildebeest are massive and dangerous, making success even more difficult, but when the five cheetahs work in unison, they can practically take down any prey. Cheetahs prefer to hunt alone rather than with other animals. However, in this video, a few cheetahs collaborate to take down prey that is much larger than themselves. The seasonal rains that bring life back to this parched area attract a herd of wildebeest eager to feast on the succulent sweet grasses that emerge in the aftermath of seasonal rainfall, but for some of them, this feast may be their last. During the Great Wildebeest Migration, two male cheetahs hunt for wildebeest. One of the cheetahs kills one of the hundreds of wildebeest and gets help from his friend. They eat their meal together. 
Number three, Snake Attacks Chameleon. A female boomslang attacks a small chameleon on a road, and surprisingly enough, the chameleon holds his own against the snake. A chameleon is a secretive, reclusive, and wary reptile that likes to live alone. They are not normally aggressive, but if threatened, they will become violent. They will bite if you ignore their warnings. They should be left alone rather than caressed and played with. In this video, a bright mustard chameleon tries to make a run for it when it's being chased by a snake. Once he feels cornered, he gulps as much air as he can to appear as large as possible, but the snake is determined to finish the job. Once the snake bites, the venom spreads, killing cells one by one, making the chameleon change color. The chameleon must admit defeat and accept his imminent death. A snake decides to attack a chameleon, presumably because it wandered through the snake's territory. If you don't like violence, don't watch this one. The snake full on attacks the chameleon. If you thought a boom slang was some new dance or music group, think again. It's one of the most toxic snakes in Africa, and a chameleon's camouflage is no match for this slithering lethal killing machine, as you can see the snake turn the chameleon into a quick lunch. Number two, weasel attacks bank vole. This weasel is hunting down and attacking a bank vole. The speed of this animal is unbelievable. In fact, it looks as though the video is on fast forward, so we have it for you in slow motion. Weasels are not big, but they are feisty, and you can see it in action in this video. This weasel wrestles a vole, and it's not an easy battle for the weasel, but after some tumbles and rolls, the weasel brings the dead vole into the green to eat it. The weasel in this video was not satisfied with just one vole, so he decided to attack and kill a second one. I guess now, he needs to figure out how he's going to carry all this merchandise back to his den. It's not like he can call Uber Eats. This pair of weasels is extremely active in this video at the expense of the voles that live there. The weasels raid the voles' house and grab whatever they could find. Maybe the weasels have decided to move in, and they want to make sure there aren't any squatters in the house. And number one, Cheetah hunts Impala. This is a very rare sighting. Cheetahs usually kill their prey first, then eat it as fast as possible, but this mother cheetah skipped the killing and just started eating this reed buck while it was still alive. This ferocious feline matriarch needs to feed her three young cubs. We pity the grassland mammal that crosses her path. She goes on the hunt and very quickly takes down an impala. She then calls her young to eat. The little guys come running and slowly begin to learn what it means to earn your stripes. A tough battle ensues between a cheetah and an impala after a tiring chase. Once the kill is made, the feline recovers and catches its breath. Consider yourself in a high-speed car chase. You're quick, but the 12-cylinder Lamborghini in front of you is even faster. Using the accelerator and driving in a straight line guarantees failure. Whether it's to catch dinner or avoid being dinner, Nature has shaped predator and prey pairs, such as cheetah and impala and lion and zebra, to ensure fair competition. When everything is in balance, predators can eat without depleting their food supply, and the ecosystem is in balance. Cheetah and impala have been at odds for hundreds of thousands of years. In both animals, evolution has modified genes to improve running. Thanks to the Cheetah Conservation Fund's cheetah genetics research, experts are learning which genes have evolved for speed in cheetah. The Impala isn't fast enough to beat a cheetah in a race, but it has a trick that makes up for it. Instead of charging ahead at full speed, the Impala avoids the cheetah by slowing down and quickly changing direction. This and other findings about the movements of cheetahs, Impalas, lions, and zebras in northern Botswana were recently published in Nature. Predators are always a delight to watch. They're savvy and powerful, and what more is there to say about those hunting tactics? Simply amazing. Which one was your favorite? Why don't you let us know in the comments below? And well, that's it for now. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and let us know in the comments what you think. Check out our other videos and subscribe to be a part of the fun. Click on the notification icon so you can see our new videos as soon as they're uploaded. Thanks for watching and see you next time.